There's been a lot of conversations and anecdotal evidence that people have fed garlic and they're seeing fly control or they're claiming that they're seeing fly control. And so we as a company wanted to look at, does this feeding garlic actually do anything? Is it something that can be on a pesticide label? Can we feed garlic to an animal and cause fly control? We wanted to start off by really doing a thorough test of does feeding garlic control flies. We had a field site in Louisiana where we had um, a, uh, two pastures of cattle. They were both similar breed backgrounds of uh, Angus crosses. And we took one group of these uh, mama cows and fed them garlic in their mineral and we took the other group and just fed mineral by itself. And we monitored the hornfly population for our study period. The hornfly counts were obtained every week. Uh, we had an individual that would go out and count the number that they would visually observe on a subset of each of those groups. So in our study, uh, feeding these two groups of cattle for about 90 days, we didn't really see any impact of the garlic. For our uh, sales team, this study supports what we've been saying for years is that there is no published evidence that garlic works and our field study supports that. So if a producer wants to use garlic as a feed through to control flies, um, I would caution them that there is no published study that has a control group compared to a garlic group that shows that it's effective. I think the driver for this kind of market behavior comes from uh, people want to pick greener technologies. And it's coming from a good place, but unfortunately there's not really any evidence that these things work as a feed through. In my opinion, it's more environmentally friendly and environmentally safe to, to feed something like Altacid or Clarify where you know it works, you know it doesn't have a tremendous amount of non-target impacts.